In this video, we're going to be working on a 2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch. This is the A23115 model board and it came in for no power. Now, I started to work on this board and thought, why not record the video since I'm going to be working on it anyway. So I've done a lot of videos on those boards, but why not add this board to the collection? I did physical inspection on the board and noticed a lot of corrosion on this area of the board. So I cleaned up the area gently with the brush. We had two bad capacitors here. They were worn out, so I had to take those two caps off the board. And that's all I did. Let's quickly go over the board. The backlight I see looks okay. Caps may be discolored, but those caps rarely go bad. Right now, when we plug the charger in, we do not have a green light. Some corrosion here. We're going to have to ultrasonic this board later on. And where is our ISL chip? Where is our ISL chip? Right here. Let me quickly measure the current sense resistors. And we are reading a large number. Let me go over the circuit diagram so I can show you what the reading should be. The two current sense resistors that I just went over, R7052 and R7051. And the value of those two resistors should be 0 ohms and 2.2 ohms. I'm also interested in the two other current sense resistors, R7021 and R7022. They should be reading 10 ohms each. Look at this. We are reading 3.2 mega ohms. Not 0 ohms, not 2.2 ohms, mega ohms. And the other one? The other one is correct, so one of them is bad. Let's take a look at Q6990 and see if we have 3.42 volts present on the board. And I see something wrong with this chip, unless I'm mistaken. What's this? Look at this. Why are those two pins shorting out? Look at this. No prior work was done to this board, and you can tell by the dust on that board. So what's this? Two pins shorting out. What's this? Hmm. I'm going to go over this with my hot air station. Let's plug the charging cable again. Okay, so right now we are not getting 3.42 volts. So I think the first thing I want to do is replace that bad resistor, the current sense resistor, and then we can do more measurements later. We're going to grab that component from this donor board, but we have to measure it first to make sure it's good. Meter in ohms mode, and let's go ahead and measure. Zero ohms, very good. Zero ohm.
very good. Let's test this diode and we should have 12.58 volts. Right now we are getting 10.45. 1.6 here and 10.8 here that tells me only one thing that our ISL chip is bad and our ISL chip is right here so let's go ahead and replace it and we'll test after we change it The ISL 6259 chips are sold on our website if you do this type of work. Okay, just quick clean up. And we're gonna fix this chip. But we take it one step at a time. One step at a time. Right, so all we have to do is clean up the axis and we'll see. I'm just going to quickly test and see if anything changed. Oh, right there. Green light. So... <laughs> The job is done. The job is done. We replaced the current sense resistor. We replaced the ISL chip. But I still have to replace the two capacitors that I took off. I took them off before I started to record right here. We still have to test the board to make sure it turns on. I do see the LVDS connector is slightly affected, but should not be a big deal. So as you can see, we did not have to do much measurements, just based on experience. We figured out the problem. We can extract those two capacitors from the donor board. Let's see what we have here. And I don't think we can do it from this board. We have another board right here. And those caps are gone from this board also. And let's check this board. And I do not like the way it looks. And let's check this board. We got it. And we can solder this component using our soldering iron rather than apply hot air. Let's do the other one and then we make sure both of them are soldered on correctly. But let's grab the other one. Just little help from hot air. Some flux. I'm not pointing at the LVDS connector, but rather I'm pointing on the board. And that's it, the job's done. This is the same customer who brought in three boards that needed the headphone jack replacement. And we did one of those headphone jack replacement in the previous video. Today, we had to work on his no power board. And I was waiting to do that so we can call him to come and pick up all four devices. So hopefully the board is working. A green light does not mean that the board is going to work. But it's a good indication that we may have a functional board. I did not see anything else wrong with the board other than the corrosion that we found 
on the board. So I'm gonna give the board to Big Boss to reassemble and I'll be back in a few minutes so we can finish off this video. Okay, good news. Laptop is working and we had to boot up from an external drive because the customer's drive does not have an operating system and it does say test on it. So we booted up from an external drive and right there. The laptop did charge. We left it on the charger for five, 10 minutes and everything is perfect. Job is done. We're going to call the customer to come and pick up. Customer is going to be happy because we fixed all four devices for him, three motherboards with the headphone jack issue and this laptop here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again probably on Monday. Today is Saturday and tomorrow I'm off. I do not know if I'm going to post a video tomorrow, but from now until then, enjoy your weekend and I'll see you again in the next video.